Well, the weather didn't do anything uh, to worse, make worse the first day of school. Kids across the area were up with sunrise this morning despite the rain, ready to head back to school. But the new school year, of course, brings new concerns to a community in Dutchess County. And News 12's Nadia Galindo tells us why a new group bus stop is causing parents to talk tonight. These viewer photos show the scene at the entrance of the Chelsea Cove North Development in Beekman, which is now the sole bus stop for the Dutchess County community. It was very chaotic this morning. We had about at least three dozen cars lined up trying to drop their kids off. At the same time, you have other people trying to get through to go to work or go wherever. Rain only added to parent Matthew Femer's concerns. He and other parents learned a few weeks ago the Arlington Central School District consolidated Chelsea Cove North's bus stops for the middle and high school from six to just one. Feeding is an issue. We don't have sidewalks. We have cars parked kind of everywhere because it's a townhouse community. We don't have driveways. Stephanie Wyant says her 10 year old daughter was nearly hit by a car on this first day back to school. A lot of the other parents saw it, started dumping out of their cars to try to get the car to stop or to slow down. And it was just, it was a mess. The Arlington Central School District tells News 12 group bus stops were needed this year for secondary students because of a bus driver shortage and to avoid buses running late. But because of parents' concerns, school officials are now reviewing the bus stop at Chelsea Cove North Development, adding the primary role of the Arlington Transportation Department is to transport students to and from school safely and to arrive and depart school on time. It's just a mess and it's very unfair. We live in the neighborhood. We know the issues that are here. Um, and we, we voiced them for, for weeks ahead of time to avoid something like this. Parents hope the district will consider adding more bus stops. Nadia Galindo, News 12. District officials say that they have followed the New York Education Department's manual, which says dead end loop and cul-de-sac streets should be avoided by buses whenever possible, adding the district has yet to make a determination on whether changes are going to be made to this bus stop.